Whoa! Boy, how did you sleep, mate? Very good. Very good? Very relaxed. Yeah, I didn't hear much snoring. I think it was the noise of the birds. Last night, just sitting around the fire, you know, it was possibly one of the most peaceful experiences ever. Here we are, you know, out on the banks of the Paru, and it's just fantastic. It really is. So we're actually going to have chilli for lunch, and uh, we're going to knock it up now, bung it in the slow cooker. The rice is already underway here. Um, the best thing about a slow cooker, and this is Ruthie's version, all right? When you read the books, you probably won't see this, but it doesn't really matter the order that you cook stuff in. I've always kind of believed that anyway, but once it goes into the slow cooker, it's all going to get cooked anyway. So off you go. I mean, you know, even my mate Paul can cook. Or cut onions. Or cut onions. <laughs> all right, yeah, cut onions. Before I go any further, I just have to tell you something. Last night is the first night I tried on my new Darchi stretcher it's an XL 100 so it's it's huge you know it's like I don't know maybe a meter wide and a couple of meters or more long it is the most comfortable bunk bed whatever I've ever slept on that includes the one at home which means I probably won't be going home much anymore okay so here's our chili it's going to start pretty easy with some onions in the pan I'll even stir them up and these are the, the pots out of the shuttle chef. They've got the thick base, you know, uh, which makes them absolutely perfect for this kind of stuff. In goes some garlic. Fair bit of garlic. I'm going to be talking to people tonight, so I uh, want to keep the distance. I'm joking. Right, and I'll give that a bit of a stir. Woohoo! Off she goes. Now this is beef mince, it's some beef mince I had left over from yesterday. What were we cooking yesterday? Oh that's right, the um, what did we cook? Okay. Oh hamburgers, so that's left over from the hamburgers. And this is pork mince, now I really like the mixture of pork and beef together. I was going to do it in the hamburgers yesterday but the beef mince was so good I thought I know. I'll try it in the chilli, and I reckon it's going to work a beauty. I know it is, actually. Okay, so now, we kind of want... It's going to be cooked no matter what, but we kind of want it all to brown up in the pot. You couldn't do this with a normal saucepan. You couldn't fry meat in it. But when you've got a saucepan with a base like that, you can. Alright, I'm going to go and knock up another quick cup of coffee. I'll be back in a minute. Who stole the jug? Now the meat started to brown up beautifully. It's only taken a couple of seconds. Um, soy sauce to add a bit of salt. And because we can, how much soy sauce? Oh gee, a good decent trickle of it. There's quite a bit went in there. Probably about a tablespoon and a half. This is an oxo cube. This is another oxo cube. Together, they make two oxo cubes. Break it up, sprinkle it in. A little bit of extra beef flavor. Um, as much as anything, it's in there because I know that the salt taste of the cube will really kick off well against the pork. It works beautifully. Um, while we're at it, probably a good time to put in a bit of chili. How much chilli? Oh, 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 let's just look the other way for a while, will we? This is the hot chilli, but we're trying to make a lunch that we need to eat in the middle of the day, so hot is good. This is cumin. Good old dab of cumin. Come on. Okay, and this is something else it's all about. Tomato paste. In she goes. Diced tomatoes. It's been in Milo for a little while. Should be good. Well shaken up, mate. Okay, the rice can go into the hot pot. There she goes. That's all uh, 
boiled up. Now I did it on the absorption method. If you don't know what that means, just read the packet. It's kind of like proportions. But essentially, for us nongs, put the rice in the pot and cover it roughly with water until it's about the thickness of your fingers. Don't ask me why it works, but it does. Works for me every time. So that's in there. Uh, now we need some red kidney beans. Cool, in they go. And finally, some of the old. Remember this? Cool, I remember it. I spent all night reminding myself about it. Hot tomato chutney. It's good stuff, eh? Righto. I think we'll use the whole jar, eh? That is magic. And it's already starting to bubble up. Now this is a very meat-heavy chilli, okay? And that's because we had lots of meat to put in it today. Um, and let's face it, we like meat, don't we, Paul? Love meat. Love meat. So it doesn't look as red as a normal chilli con carne. That's because of the red kidney beans and the tomato kicks off that red. Now, this is about the only stage that's important. The lid goes on. I'm going to let it bubble right up. Put it in the pot. It's already got the rice in the pot, so the two pots together are just going to sit there, stay warm, maybe lose a couple of degrees an hour. Four or five hours, we pull up on the side of the road, and we have chili con carne. See you then. about I don't know half an hour out of Broken Hill we've got a glorious creek bed to pull over for lunch I mean this is so good I could just about stay here the rest of the day but that's not on the cards but at least we have a really hopefully really good chili con carne let's see how the shuttle chefs work will we okay now the lid only opens one way that's that way you've got to have the handle in the right position what do we got here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's have a look. You're probably wondering how good that's going to taste. I'm wondering so much I'm actually salivating. Because um, I know it's going to be good. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is superb. There you go, mate. Would you look at that? Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, here you go. Might need a bit of this with it too. A bit of the old bread. Yeah, beauty, mate. What a fantastic place, eh? Hey? Nice little creek mm. bed. How's that? Beautiful. <laughs> I'm pretty spoiled here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. Well, there you go. Look. Not only is that simple. I mean, we did it while we're doing breakfast. It enables us to have the complete freedom of having lunch wherever we want it, having a really tasty lunch that's really filling and it's not even expensive. Kind of like driving 40 series Toyotas, hey mate? It's just all good. <laughs>